So with Indian Wells only a couple of days away, we're going to talk about the ranking points going into Indian Wells because, of course, it is a WTA and an ATP 1000 event. A lot of points up for grabs at this event. There's a lot of players that have points to hold and to try and defend from last year. So let's go have a look at that first, starting with the WTA. So on the WTA side, the players that have the most to lose at this event from last year, Iga Sviantek. She's got 390 points from a semifinal last year that she has to defend, as does Maria Sakri, who also made the semifinals here last year, and her ranking has been fluctuating over the last couple of months, so Zachary's really going to have a good showing. Sabalenka made the final here last year, has 650 points to defend for her total. And of course, the defending champion, Rabakina, 1,000 points on the line. She can't actually make up any points, so it's all about defending her points and trying to keep her ranking where it is. Jumping over the players that have the most to gain at Indian Wells, starting with Jung. Actually, didn't play last year, has no points to defend at Indian Wells, so really excited to see how she can do and maybe add to that total that she added to at the Australian Open. Naomi Osaka didn't play last year, of course. And if she does get a good draw, could make another run like she did in Doha a couple weeks ago and gain some extra points. Ons Jabur, she lost in the third round here last year, so doesn't have that many points to defend if she is healthy and her knee holds up. And Paulini, she lost in the first round here last year, and she made, of course, that crazy run in Dubai, winning that trophy. So she really has a massive upside going into the third Masters 1000 of the year, especially with the confidence she gained in Dubai. Over on the men's side, the most to lose, Yannick Sinner. Made the semifinals last year, as does Tiafo. He made the semifinals as well last year. Has a lot of points there that he has to defend and a lot of wins that he has to get. Daniel Medvedev, of course, the finalist of last year. Of course, Alcaraz, the defending champion, has the most to defend with a 1,000 points from winning the whole thing last year. So three of the top four guys there in the current rankings have so much to do at Indian Wells to maintain their ranking. Players that have the most to gain on the men's side of things, we've got Sizi Pass. Lost early last year in the second round, so really could push himself back into that top 10 by a good run at Indian Wells. And with a slower hard court, you'd think it might actually suit Steph's game. Kasper Ruud, he also didn't do great here last year and has been informed the last couple of weeks in Acapulco. So in Mexico, especially making the final of Acapulco, so he could really add to his ranking points as well. Alex Diminor, another player who's been playing really well this season, only made it to the second round last year, losing and not having that many points to defend. So really could add to his total. And the big one, Novak Djokovic, of course, banned from the last two years of coming to America, and playing Indian Wells. He is now available to play, has no points to defend. And with Alcaraz having to defend a thousand points, could really extend the gap between number one and number two in the world and him being number one. So massive opportunity there for Djokovic to gain some points and really push Alcaraz away from that number one ranking. So there it is. Some big names there that have a lot to defend. Some big names there that have a big opportunity to get some points, especially that top 10 race on the men's side because you've got the top four guys there, you know, with Djokovic being the exception, all have to defend points. But the guys that are kind of playing for like 8, 9, 10, 11 in the world, Sidney Pass, Rude and Dimonor, really have an opportunity here to cement their spot in the top top 10 if they make it a quarterfinal semi-final run and the other two guys don't do well really could help their ranking but let me know down in the comments below who are you most excited for scared for going into indian wells of course probably elkris fans are scared for him that he might not be able to defend those points it's a lot of points to defend also rabakin and sabalenka are a lot of points there as well for them maybe Djokovic fans you guys have got to be excited right because he is playing this tournament for the first time in five years of course the last two years he wasn't allowed to play so massive massive deal him coming back but let me know down in the comments below who are you most excited to see going into indian wells according to the rankings